Eric Mwadith, Mwadith.com, December 1st, 2017. Let's take a look at markets here. We are seeing the market come off the highs of the day and pretty much drop almost 200 points in the last couple of minutes. So anyway, so I want to show you in this video what to be looking for or what to look at in case this becomes a bigger drop or I guess levels to watch and what we can look for in terms of the possibility of this being a, an even bigger day. Now the way things are looking like this is what I was talking about in my previous video, I think was yesterday, or maybe the day before. In my last video I was talking about what happened to Bitcoin might actually be what is going to happen to the general market next. And the reasoning there was very simple. We've seen markets really have a strong move just like Bitcoin did. And the way we start getting to a major top is by bringing in volatility. So I'm not surprised by what we are seeing here with the market dropping, to be honest, because um, I don't think the cryptocurrency space is a vacuum. I think it just captured the general energy that was pretty much surrounding the market. So it, it will not surprise me that around at some point, we're going to see the Dow down 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 points. It's going to happen. Just like it happened for Bitcoin, it's going to happen for the general market. But for now, what we can do is look at the levels. And I'm going to use the NASDAQ because the NASDAQ is the one that gave us this, let's call it early warning sign, early this week. So we can see here the NASDAQ right now. And let me, let me update this because it's going to show very clearly that now we are coming off the 69.1 threshold. So this move in the market is consistent with the market coming off the 69.1 threshold. Also, let's also factor in the fact that this is a fresh month. And so we are starting to see that the energy for this month might actually be down. And the key to whether we get a bigger drop is whether the monthly RSI holds above 69.1 or not. If the RSI on the monthly for the NASDAQ stays above 69.1, expect the market to be stable to bullish at some point. If you take a look at the daily, now we can see that the NASDAQ has cracked below RSI 50 for the day. So as long as the NASDAQ is down below 50 for the day, expect the market to close lower and at the lows of the day. So we can watch this very simple parameter here. As long as the daily chart for the NASDAQ is moving below 50, expect the general market to close lower and at the lows of the day, right? Even as we see the market here inching to the lows of the day right now, we have so many hours before the close, but more than likely, as long as the RSI 50 for the NASDAQ has been breached, that is suggesting to expect lower prices. Take a look at the hourly for the NASDAQ and to understand this we need to go back a little bit let's go back about six months on the hourly go back to the line we had drawn previously and what the market is doing right now is testing the same line it's the RSI lows line and even here with the NASDAQ down about 1.7 percent we can see that the market has yet to break this line <laughs> So believe it or not, this might just be a normal pullback in yet in still a very strong market. Why? Because we would need to break this line first and foremost. A break of this line is needed to really put pressure to the downside. We haven't seen the break as of right now. Maybe we might see the break by the close, but right now we haven't seen the break. And also there's another line going back to these lows here. I'll draw it right there. And this is the line coming off the lows. We had a recovery off the lows there. And every time since then, the market's been bouncing on this line for a recovery back to new highs. And so what I'm getting at here is here we are again testing the same line. Now, I might have to refresh this because we are really, really cascading lower, right? So let me refresh that see what we have and we can see here right now let's draw back the two lines line number one is this line here
actually that's right and then line number two is the RSI lows line like that so we are starting to see signs of a break so we shall see whether this remains the case or whether the market finds support on those two lines let's take a look at the 30 minute chart for the Nasdaq and we can see here on the 30 minute chart you know um, we'll draw a line off the lows there now ever since this 30 minute low markets been bouncing on this line for a recovery reaction all of this were good enough to stop the slide and so same thing here which is this low and now here we are testing it again so depending on whether or not we hold this line is where we can see if we break that's going to be a change in the recent support if we find that the market can hold on this line and we bounce then that's still a market that is healthy and again you can see this is a very fluid situation just about a minute ago the Dow was down three 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 twenty points and now it's lost half of those points so I'm gonna be forced again to go back and take a look at the hourly chart again this is happening real time so bear with me so I'm gonna draw the two lines again line number one is holding <laughs> believe it or not line number two is holding so which tells me that the market could actually find stability around here but before we start jumping and going long and buying breakouts let's wait for a confirmation in other words let's wait for the market to bounce back show uniform activity let's wait for confirmation because right now we haven't seen the hourly charts turn positive but if this holds I would say that this is just another market trick before it tests new highs let's take a look at the VIX and what we see here for the VIX it's up about 40 percent for the month <laughs> the month's only been month of December has been uh, trading for what two hours so for the month for the first two hours of December it's up 40 percent take a look at the daily that's the hourly take a look at the daily here and the daily is breaking out above a recent daily closing high and the level to watch there is 13.13 which goes back to that hourly close daily close there so once it moves above that level as long as it is breaking out above 13.13 there's still more downside pressure for the market right now it's trading at 14 so it's breaking out in essence and the key to whether we get a big drop is whether the RSI on the daily can hold above 69.1 right now it is above that at 69.40 but the RSI holding above 69.1 is going to be key to whether we get a further down move in the market if we take a look at the hourly for the VIX the hourly is above 69.1 so there's hourly pressure which explains why this hour is very strong why because on this hour the VIX moved above 69.1 for the rest of the day whether we get a big push lower in the general market depends on whether the VIX can hold above 69.1 on the hourly question mark and on the daily question mark if they cannot if the VIX cannot hold above 69.1 on the hourly and on the daily then the market is not going to have a substantial drop into the close all right so one thing I need to go back and take a look is the Nasdaq daily chart as this situation is so fluid go back to the Nasdaq daily because the daily is going to give us an idea of what to expect for the day all right so now for the day the RSI is back above 50 so looks like we might not get that kind of a big drop and I can also draw a line connecting RSI lows on the daily like that so we can see that even with a drop this line might still hold the market together we haven't cracked below 
RSI below the 50-day moving average. So yes, we are having a down day, but pretty honestly, if you think about it, we've just gone back to where we were about a week and a half ago, somewhere here. So as of right now, it's not the biggest, it's not the worst develop, development for bulls. It might just be a general pullback in an otherwise very strong market. Let's take a look at the Dow. And the Dow daily, believe it or not, the Dow daily continues to trade above 69.1. As long as the market on the Dow is above 69.1, this market continues to be healthy even day to day. And that's why it is refusing to drop because the RSI for the Dow has refused to drop below 69.1. You'd want to see a big drop below 69.1 for this to be a confirmed down day. Now don't forget on the weekly, take a look at where the Dow is trading on the weekly. I mean, this pullback is not even showing up on the weekly chart. It's, a, it's such, such a tiny pullback based on how far we've gone this week. This is a powerful follow through after last week's breakout. Take a look at where the RSI for the Dow is trading above 69.1, which is a sign of a very strong market. Don't forget that on the monthly, the Dow continues to hold above 69.1. So as long as we are above 69.1, the mantra has been expect sideways to bullish markets. While the Dow is above 69.1, expect pullbacks to be quick and shallow. All right. We can take a look also at the SPX. Same situation. RSI still holding above 69.1 on the weekly. We are still looking at a market that is following through after breaking out last week. It is recording the second week since the breakout. So this is a good breakout. We broke out last week and this week we are following through. So even despite and in spite of today's drop, the weekly charts look solid. We take a look now at the S&P 500 daily. And the daily is showing some sizable drop because the daily for the SPX is moving below 69.1. We take a look at the hourly and the hourly is, I think it's okay, be honest with you. And I say it's okay because let's consider where we broke out before the recent move to new highs over the last week or so. There was a breakout here, which is this hourly move. Once we moved above that range, the market went on a nice speedy move to new highs. Now we take that information and draw our support line. You can see the market is coming back to test the breakout level. So as long as this is, this is giving us the potential for holding, the market continues to have the look that it could actually be okay. It could be a normal pullback, no big deal. In other words, we haven't seen a major, major break of any major charts. And the best way to conclude this is to go back to the NASDAQ. Take a look at the NASDAQ hourly chart because the NASDAQ is what cracked earlier this week here. And so it gave a lot of traders a warning that the market might not be as healthy. But even with the NASDAQ dropping, we've already established that we need to break below line number one, which we haven't. And we also need to break below line number two which is the RSI lows line before we can see a major pullback right now we haven't seen the market break below these lines because we haven't broken below below those lines because there's a possibility if the lines hold that if the market hold here the next meaningful swing trade is actually to the downside so that the Nasdaq hourly is suggesting that until we see a break of these two lines, in conclusion, until we see a break of these two lines, this is just a normal pullback within the sphere of a very strong bull market. So the bulls are still in control of this market unless and until the bears are able to push the market and crack it below these two lines. And so that's where I'm going to end the video. 
was a very fluid situation there and we'll see where we close watch the Nasdaq daily so let me go back to the Nasdaq daily watch the Nasdaq daily to see where it closes because a close below RSI 50 would suggest a big down day into the close of the day where we we shall most likely close at the lows of the day if we crack below RSI 50. Eric Mwadeth, mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Mwah. Whoa.